Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to create custom footer in Elementor. So let's begin. Alright, to create the custom footer in the Elementor, first of all what we have to do, we have to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin and here we have to search for Elementor, header and footer builder. Okay, so as you can see here, we have already installed our plugin here which is Elementor, header and footer builder. So now what we have to do, we have to go inside the appearance and now we have to click on the option that we have of Elementor, Header and Footer Builder. So in here what we have to do, we have to click on Add New. And here what we have to do, we're going to write down Custom Footer Value. Now we have to select the type of it. So we can also create the header with the help of this plugin. So I'm going to add the footer here. It would be displayed on entire website and we can also define user roles so it's gonna be all and now let's click on publish okay so now what we have to do we have to click on edit with Elementor and here we will basically create our custom footer so I'm gonna click on add container here I'm gonna go here with the flex box and I would actually go here with the four column structure perfect so now what we have to do, I'm going to change the content width to the full width and now I'm going to click on add element and here I'm going to add heading here on the first column and this will be a kind of quick links and now I'm going to add the icons here. So here you can see here we are having the icon list. So I have to add this icon list here that would be under our heading. So inside this icon list, we have to add the name of our menus here or whatever we want to add here as a quick links. So I'm going to name this the first one as a home and I'm going to remove this icon and here I will paste the URL here. Similarly, I'm going to add the name of the second one that will be the service and on the third one that can be about us. Okay. And I would also remove these icons from here because I don't need icons. Perfect. Alright, so now what I have to do, I have to add the link here. So on the home, I'm going to simply copy this URL from here. That is actually the base URL of our website. So I'm going to add this as the home URL. So I'm going to add this at the URL for our home text. Similarly, you can add the links on the service and the about us. Okay, so right now I'm going to simply write down about us and I'm going to write down service here so here you actually need to paste your page url okay right now i'm just writing down the id here okay and now what we have to do we actually need to duplicate this okay so the first thing that i have to do here i'm gonna change the styling of my icon list so actually i have to increase the space here between my list items so i think this would look perfect we're gonna go here with the 20px or we can go here with let's say 15px okay and similarly if I want to add the divider I can simply add the divider but I don't need the divider here and then we have the text so I'm going to change the color of the text here so this is going to be the white color and also the color of our heading is going to be the white color because I'm going to change the color of our container to the dark color so for that I'm going to go inside the style and I would add the black color here okay so I'm gonna go here with the black color perfect and now what I have to do actually I have to add some space at the top so I'm gonna add the padding from the top so that can be 40 or we can go here with the 20 and similarly we're gonna have the padding on the bottom side so that can be 40 maybe yeah this is looking better and now what we have to do we have to add the padding on the left side into our heading and the icon list. So I'm going to click on the container, go into the advanced settings and I will add the padding value here. So this is going to be 20 from the left side and also 20 from the top side and 20 from the bottom side. And now this is looking good. So now what I have to do, I simply have to copy paste this. Okay, so I'm going to simply copy paste it. But before that, I will need to remove these containers here. So let's just delete this. Also delete this one. And also this one. And let's just duplicate this. 
I'm going to duplicate this again. And I'm going to duplicate this again. Okay. So on the second one, actually, I would remove the heading. And also the icon list. So on the second one, I would actually add the form here. Okay. So in the forms, you can actually use any kind of form that you like. So if you want to go here with the WP form, you can go here with the WP form. Or if you want to go here with the Sina contact form, you can also go with that or any other form, whichever you prefer to use. So right now I'm going to go here with the WP forms and here I would actually select my form, which is a contact form. All right. So in our contact form, I'm going to add some padding into this. So let's add the padding from the right side. So this will be 40 from the right side and also 40 from the left side. All right. So I think this is too small. So we can change the value here to the 20 PX and also the 20 PX from the left side. And this is looking good. And what I can do here, I can basically add the heading into this. All right. And this is going to be, let's say, contact us. And we're going to change the text color here. So this will be the white color as well. And this is looking good. All right. So here you can see here that in our context form, we are having the four different input fields. But I want to decrease this. This is looking too much bigger for our footer. So I'm going to go into our website from here. I'm going to simply copy this from here. And now we are into the dashboard on the new tab. So I'm going to go inside the WP forms, click on the all forms. Let's just click on the edit on our contact form. So I'm going to simply delete the message from here. And I think this will look fine. So I'm going to simply save this. And now we'll go back to our custom footer. So now whenever we refresh this page, we won't be having our message input field and that would look fine. Okay. So now what we have to do uh, on here, we can add, let's say the top products or something. And similarly, we can add the name of our products here. So this can be the product one. Similarly, this can be the product two. And after that, we can have the product three as well. So here we can also add a new item. So I'm going to add a new item. So let's just add one more. So this is going to be, let's say the product four, and this is going to be the product five. Okay. I'm going to change the value here. So let's just add two. Let's just add three and let's just update this. And now we have the last one here. Perfect. And obviously you would need to add the URL here respectively based on your product. Okay. So I'm going to remove this icon from here and also this icon from here. Perfect. And now in the last column, we can have, let's say the articles or something like this. And here you can add the articles. Okay. So I'm going to go inside my dashboard. So let's click here and I'm going to go inside the post here. And what I can do here, I can simply copy the text from here and I can simply add the article here. So let's just add the text here and then we're going to copy this one. So let's add the text here again. Let's just go here with the third one. And let's just add the text here. Okay, perfect. Now what I have to do, I also have to add the links of it. So how can we do this? It's pretty simple. Let's just click on the view on each of these articles. And let's just copy the URL from here. So we're going to copy the URL from here. This is the first one. And this is going to be our second one. Copy the URL and put it on the second one. And now we're going to do the same thing with our third article here. So now we're going to add the link here and this is looking fine. And also on the products, I think I don't want to have the five products. So four will look great. So now let's just publish this. And now let's just refresh our page. And now you'll be able to see that our footer is looking good. Uh, I will need to increase the space between into the quick links. Let's say we can go here with 20 here. All right. So this is looking fine. And now what you can do, I'm going to add one more column here. So let's click on add container and this would be the three column structure. All right. So I'm going to change the width of this. All right. So now first we have to change this to the full width. And now what we have to do. On the first one, I just need to add the text here. I'm going to simply add the text here. 
so this will be a kind of copyright text okay so we can simply put this into the center click on the center in alignment and similarly on the second column we can add the privacy links or something like this so here we can simply have our privacy links and i'm going to put this into the center as well all right so after the privacy links what we can do we're going to add the social links here so i'm going to click on this container and now let's click on add element and i would actually search for social icons here okay and in here i'm going to actually change the colors to the custom color and here i would go here the white color in the primary color and the secondary color would be the black color okay so now what i have to do i'm going to click on our main container because i want to add here the black color and i'm going to change the text color here that will be the white color same goes for the privacy links and now what I have to do, I have to put these tags into the center. Okay, I'm going to go into the layout and click on the center in align items. Perfect. Now what I have to do, I actually have to decrease the size of my social icons. So I'm going to go here with a different size. All right. So I think I like uh, this one and we can add some spacing here as well. We're going to go here with the 15 PX and this is looking good. And now what we have to do, I'm going to actually add the background image into our first container. So let's click on the image here. And I would go here with this image. Click on select. And here, if I click on the background overlay, which is already added. So you can add the background overlay from here. And you can also select the color of your background overlay from here. So I'm going to select the black color. That is looking good for me. And yeah, this is looking perfect for me. Now what I have to do, I have to make this design responsive for my mobile version. So now I'm going to click on the mobile portrait and here I have to align this into the center. Okay, so let's click on our icon list, put this into the center and we're going to do the same thing for our top products and also our product list as well. Okay, and after that we have the articles, let's just put this into the center and also our articles as well. Okay, this is looking fine. Now we're going to go back to our desktop version. Okay, so now what you have to do, I think I need to add some more padding here. So I'm going to go here, the padding on the right side and also on the left side. So let's just increase this value, let's say to the 30 and also on the left side. This is looking fine. And we can also increase this to the top. Perfect. Now let's click on publish. Now we have to go back to our dashboard. Click on the visit site and scroll down and now you'll be able to see our custom footer here. And this is looking really great here. And from here, if I click on any of these articles, we're going to jump into the link of that article and we're going to still have our same footer. So this is how we can create our custom footer in the Elementor. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.